Hello and welcome back, this is Mark. We're going to continue our blogging series. So, from our original first video, I'm going to make some edits. First of all, the summary looked a little bit out of place. It didn't look too great, so I've... Just bring that back a little bit. I'm going to update and preview. I'd like to go back to the blog. We will see if it's tidied up. Okay, that looks much better. Now, inside our WYSIWYG editor, there's a few things we can do. Um, I'm looking to make our content look a bit more readable, so we're going to put a couple of uh, spaces here, just by hitting the return key. Up above here is what we have is a WYSIWYG editor. I just create the bullets. We can do an ordered list, number one. Now I'm going to look to add possibly a video shortly. The tab we just hit here, well, this will show us the actual HTML code at the back end. What I'm going to do now is I'm looking to grab some code from YouTube. I'm going to embed a video in. If we embed the video on the previous screen, we will just see a lump of code. It won't look great. We really need to hit the HTML tab on the top left and it will bring us in here. So I just did a quick search for tulips, seeing this is what our post is about. And then I went to the share button and then I hit embed. We can grab the code from there. I'm just going to right click, copy, and going to come back to the website. And we're just going to paste this in here. And we're going to right click again, paste that. And then we can see the code. It's in HTML. I'm going to do preview. Actually, that probably won't work. We're going to come back. What we need to do is update. And then we can preview. Now we can see our videos in place. It should be able to play. And there we have it. Bullet points, ordered list, our video. Now if we just come back across the video, we can actually center this. So I'm just going to drag my mouse across here. And we're going to hit this tab and we're going to center it. This is looking a bit better, a little bit more readable. Now I'm going to create a link. So maybe you want to create a hyperlink. We're going to hit the link chain here. Insert link. And we can use a URL, email, or anchor link. But we're going to send it to a URL. So let's pretend we're sending that to Google. .com. Now, open a new tab. If we click this, this will open a new tab. But we're going to have a page open within the website. So if somebody clicks it, it will appear on the same page. Now we've just created a hyperlink to another page. Google.com. And this instance. I'm going to hit return here, space this out a little bit more. Okay, that seems better. I'm going to update our post. And then we can preview. We can check our videos in place and our, our link. If you look to the bottom left of the screen, you can see google.com. I click and it's bringing us to Google. I hit the back button and bring us back to our page. Press play in our video, make sure it's working. And that's enough of you. So there you have it. This is how we can go in and we can make edits to our posts, clean it up, make it a little bit more easily digested by visitors to your web page and to your blogging area. Okay, for more tips from our education portal, uh, stay tuned. Please browse the web and see what you think. This is Mark Casey from the RA Web Grills. Thanks very much.